The hunt and the warnings widen today. This for a missing West African cobra. There are traps now set in Grand Prairie for this snake. Jason Allen, snake duty, day number two in the neighborhood where this thing disappeared. I know you've been talking to experts, but reality, it's a snake. This thing could be miles away by now, right? They, they can move and they can move fast, Doug. And the search, it is still very much focused here. But wildlife control told us today that this was a snake caught in the wild. So once it got out, it could move looking for familiar territory. So it's possible it could have even gone miles. And so the warnings and the search have expanded really all over this neighborhood. After two days of searching turned up nothing, the city of Grand Prairie turned to traps. If this snake's within about 20 feet or so, he'll come over here to this trap. A wildlife control company set out 10 of them Thursday near the home where the six foot West African cobra escaped its enclosure Tuesday. Immediate neighbors were comforted some by the effort. I'm glad that there's something's being done and you guys can see the, you know, the, everybody else can see that we are being safe. But city employees were seen walking door to door, handing out warnings, expanding them away from the immediate area because as more time passes, the snake could have moved farther from its home. And these guys can move far fast. Or well, it might not. Or it can be right here in this wall. You know what I mean? We found getting a state permit to own an exotic snake is relatively easy. Purchasing one for just 20 bucks, much like a fishing license. Police told us they're still exploring options related to any possible violations by the snake's owner. But we found Grand Prairie's city codes say no person shall keep any constrictor type snakes, but doesn't mention venomous snakes. Dallas County Code prohibits keeping a dangerous wild animal, but the state definition for that doesn't include snakes. Texas law does note you may not recklessly allow the release of a venomous snake, which could lead to a fine or even jail time if someone was convicted. I talked to the North Texas. I talked to the North Texas Poison Center today at Parkland Hospital. They told me they looked at the anti-venom directory today when they learned that this was an exotic snake, and that told them that the closest anti-venom for this species was actually at the Dallas Zoo. So, they are essentially on standby right now in the unfortunate, unlikely event that there was a bite. That anti-venom Doug would get an emergency police escort to the hospital to treat somebody with that bite.